Hey everyone, Jack here, and I just wanted to take a quick second to show you a really cool tool that uh, Alvi put together for the ZPUino. It is a wishbone simulator that uh, lets you simulate any wishbone peripherals that you're working on without having to uh, synthesize the entire ZPUino. So it's a really lightweight simulation and works really nicely. So um, we've been working on a stepper f for the a wishbone stepper and uh, so currently it's checked into the ZPUino uh, repository on uh, GitHub and if you go to the contrib directory and then simulation and then open up this project this uh, ISC project it'll pop it up and then make sure you're under simulation normally it comes up under implementation but we want to do simulation uh, this is the test bench if you open up the test bench Okay, waiting. If you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see that you can actually enter the registers, so feed values into the registers directly uh, to exercise and simulate the, uh, uh, the core that you want to test. So this basically just sets a time base, a period, how many step counts we want to, or steps we want to count before we shut it off, and then um, this starts the stepper. So you define what you need and then you come over here to design utilities or actually no you gotta select this. Oh we switch to implementation so go back to simulation. So select make sure the test bench is selected and then double click on this. It'll bring up the simulator and uh, click this button to get the whole view. There we go. It's acting a little slow. Uh, and you can actually see the steps that we're generating here. And here's the IRQ. Um, and then if you want to dig into like internals of the stepper of the core itself, uh, you just expand this, go to stepper, and then you can see all of the the regs. So like the, we want the steps and the step count. So let's add these to the waveform. Uh, you have to re-simulate for this to take effect. So let's make this 1000. We'll run it for the time period. Let's look at the whole view again. Oh, actually it helps if you clear it out. Okay, let's look at the whole view. And let's change these so that they're hex. And then we should see that when it hits the fifth count it uh, does the IRQ. So this is extremely helpful. It's a really awesome tool and I uh, just want to thank, thank uh, Alvi a lot because this is a lifesaver if you want to make some wishbone peripherals for the ZPUino. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.